Hey everybody, Jennifer Laner here with jenlaner.com, also founder of the most helpful Facebook group around called The Front Row, where we discuss all the latest, greatest digital marketing strategies to build your list and grow your business. Um, and in The Front Row, the other day during Q&A, I was asked a really great question um, about lead pages. And um, the question is this, so I'm a beginner and my site isn't up running yet. I would like to have a landing page to capture emails while I'm working on my homepage. I know it's possible, but having a hard time to figure out how to do it, um, like in how is, is it actually done? How does one put the landing page as the temporary front page so that I can work behind the scenes? So this is a great question because my favorite tool in the world, lead pages, um, can help you do exactly that. So um, the first thing we do is we log on to leadpages.net and go over here to um, create a new page. And the way to think about lead pages is really like little mini temporary websites or permanent websites for that matter. Some people use these as their permanent websites. Um, but they're, they generate, they give you a link. After you create the page, you get a link and you can put that link anywhere you want to. So you can use it in a Facebook ad or you could place it on other social media channels or you can um, embed it on your web page so that it becomes a temporary front page for your website. Um, they're categorized not only by type so if you see here at the top there's you can get templates that say for um for sale custom sales opt-in webinar upsell thank you launch and and lots and lots and lots of other ones um what's really cool is that lead pages and i don't think any of their competitors do this they categorize these pages based on their conversion rates so basically what that means is they categorize the pages in each category so we're going to look at opt-in pages um, since that's what our front row member was specifically asking about so they categorize these opt-in pages based upon and all the pages based upon how well they convert based upon how well they work basically is what that means so um, when you look at these, they may not strike your fancy in terms of aesthetic appeal. Um, you might look at these and say, these aren't so super pretty. But rest assured that once you get inside these templates, you could customize them uh, for your brand and make them match your brand colors, upload your own pictures and so forth. Um, but you do want to start with a general template that is going to match what your objective is. Um, and also what it is that you have to to work with. So if you have a really great um, video where you're talking about what service you provide or whatever information it is you want to convey, then you're going to want to choose one of these videos, I mean one of these pages that gives you the opportunity to embed a video. If you have a whole lot to say, you're going to want to pick a, um, a page that gives you an opportunity to write out a lot of text and as you can see this one does that as well for this demo and for um, for you know tutorial purposes I'm going to choose a really straightforward simple page I'm gonna select my industry because I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare this page as if it, it was for um, my purposes for my business so here we are and I'm going to start editing this page um, to suit my needs and my brand in each of these cases, in each of these boxes that I click on, you'll notice that there's a little cog wheel that pops up. And this is the basically the, um, the place where we're able to edit everything. We can edit it and make it the text and the colors that we want, or we can hide it all together. Okay? And then once you do that, you're like, oh, how do I get it back? Your little control panel, and it's over here on the left, and when this blue tab is highlighted that says content, this shows us, um, these are all the places where we will put in our content, okay, whether it's a photo or text or whatever. And then if we click styles, this is where we can change all the colors, all of our brand colors, okay? And we can choose our font. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start customizing this. So right here, I, am, I can either hide the logo or I could choose a logo. I'm going to go ahead and choose 
These are photos I've already uploaded from previous lead pages. Um, over here, I'm going to change the text. Let's say, okay, and then I'm going to make that black to fit in with my brand. And then I'm going to change this picture. We share the most, no, we share the latest, greatest. Digital, I shouldn't have all those in caps, but anyway, I'm going to keep going. Marketing, strategies to build your list and grow your business. Okay. And this is where you can really make your lead page do cool things. I can either have this go to a um, an opt-in list, or I could click there and have it go to um, another place. Like I can click there and I could have them click there and go directly to the front row and, um, and join in that way. But because our front row member is specifically asking how she can capture leads from her home page, um, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So we need to set up our integration settings. So we want to make sure that this is connected with our um, email account. So I use Mailchimp, so I'm going to choose Mailchimp. Then I get to pick what list I want to go to. I want these email addresses to go into, and then um, I am going to click. Let me click Reload and Reload. And then I'm going to customize this form. So how about I do this and I'll say join now. I'm just going to let the font be the default font. I can make the letters spacing farther apart. I can make the letters bigger. How about I say um, join today. And then I don't want the, bu the button to say get my free report now. So I'm going to click on that and now I can edit the button to say, um, yes, I'm in. And then I want the button to be the color of my brand. So that is C14096, and now it is pink. And I'm going to click OK. All right, and then now I am going to click OK again. And then I, I don't want this button to say download now. So we're going to go to here and I'm going to say um, sign up. And then this is where you can see it can either go to an opt-in form or to a URL. So if I wanted to send them to another website or directly to the front row Facebook group, which honestly is what I would probably do, but because this question is specifically asking how to capture email addresses, I wanted to make sure and show you this. Um, and so I'm going to click done. And then of course I do not like that yellow. So I'm going to click style. And I can see over here that the button color is not right, so I'm going to change that to C14096. And I'm going to make this font black. And I'm going to hide this text. And I'm going to hide this text too. Okay. So now I am going to 
click Save. Here's another um, important element. I'm going to go to the thank you page. So you have an opportunity to, you are required actually to enter in a thank you page. So when people go through this whole funnel, they're going to be taken to a thank you page at the very end. Um, and when you get to the thank you page, you, you then have the option of sending them somewhere else yet again. Okay, so lots of opportunity here for um, creating very custom calls to action. In this particular case, I have chosen um, the default thank you page, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so um, let me show you um, a thank you page. So here, here's a, a thank you page that, um, that I had done previ previously. So after everyone goes through, they sign up, this box pops up. And now I can ask them to click here and it takes them straight to the front row group. So here's another one. So after they go through and they sign up, this pops up and, and says, get, get ready. Um, for great marketing tips and then you could click let's connect on Facebook this will probably take me to my old Facebook page it is this is from my previous company that um, I rebranded called the poser laner group but that's where it would take them let's look at another Facebook page I mean another thank you page this was one to thank people for signing up for a webinar and I gave them a bunch of different options here this one isn't formatted too well, but on this particular thank you page, um, I've asked people they can share this on Facebook or share it on Twitter. So now let's look at some of the thank you page options that Lead Pages allows. Okay, so I'm going to say create new page, and I'm going to look at thank you pages. So. I'm going to look at some of these thank you pages. Here's one that when you're done, after people go through the funnel and they sign up and their thank you page pops up, that's the one that I just showed you that this is the template that I used. So you could just put in your own logo and brand it accordingly. Okay. And you could hide this. You change the picture to be a picture of you and maybe I hide this okay so there's a there's a thank you page so here's a thank you page and you know you could customize this as we've as I've shown you um, all throughout this tutorial but here again the button will take you wherever, will take your um, subscribers wherever you want to take them. So when I click here, you could take them to a URL or show um, uh, an opt-in form. Okay, so here's the URL up here at the top. I'm going to copy that. And there it is. So you, whatever page you create, you get a link and you can stick that link wherever you would like to put it. So um, in my particular case, I don't have a WordPress site, but if I go over to Weebly where my website is um, situated and created, I could just very easily add a page and right here it says external link. Okay. and. Um, I'm going to put tutorial here and publish it and I would actually move it to the top and now that is my home page so I don't want to publish this because boy that would really throw people off if they came to my website right now and saw that but now that lead that um, lead page is now my home page and I know that if you have a WordPress site or a Wix site or any of the other websites you can do the exactly the same thing Okay, so let's take a look at our final sample lead page that we created. 
and click all the way through it. So there's the link. We're going to click sign up. Um, I enter my email address and I'm going to click yes, I'm in. It now takes me to this thank you page. I click on this button. It now takes me to um, this particular website, but of course we could have programmed it to go anywhere that we want to. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. I don't, I don't like to give you um, too much all at once because I don't want to overwhelm anyone. I'll be doing more demos to show you the some other really cool things you can do with a lead page. And keep in mind that if you are going to purchase lead pages, um, I just became an affiliate, so you can be my very first affiliate purchase by clicking on this link. Um, if not, that's fine too. I just hope you learned a lot. And if you have any more questions, please post right below this video and I'll be sure to get back to you ASAP.